Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to create a simple inventory management system. To start, open Microsoft Excel. In cell A3, type stock in and select the next three cells in the same row. Merge these cells. Below this, create column headers by typing date, item name and in quantity in separate cells. Adjust the column widths as needed. Next, in cell D3, type stock out and merge the next three cells as well. Copy the column headers from stock in, paste them below and change in to out. Adjust these column widths too. In cell G3, type stock balance and merge the next two cells. Below this, create column headers for item name and balance quantity. Now select the entire table, extending down to row 50 or more if needed and apply borders. Highlight the headers Stock In, Stock Out and Stock Balance with different colours to make them stand out. In the Stock Balance section under Item Name, enter the names of the items you want to track. For example, you could list items like electronic gadgets. Next, create drop-down menus for the Item Name columns in both the Stock In and Stock Out sections. To do this, select cells from B5 to B50 in the Stock In section, go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation. In the drop-down, choose List. For the source, select the range of item names in the Stock Balance section, including some extra rows for future entries. Click OK. Now copy this drop-down menu, go to the Stock Out section and paste it in the Item Name column using Paste Special. Choose the Validation option and click OK. The drop-down menu for the Stock Out section is now ready. To calculate the balance automatically, use the SUMIF function. In the first cell of the Balance Quantity column, type equal sign SUMIF. For the range, select the Item Name column in the Stock In section and lock it by pressing F4. Add a comma then select the corresponding item name in the stock balance section as the criteria. Add another comma, then select the in quantity column in the stock in section and lock it with F4. Close the sum if function with a bracket. Now subtract the total stock out by adding another sum if function. Open a bracket, select the item name column in the stock out section as the range and lock it with F4. Add a comma, then select the item name in the stock balance section as the criteria. Add another comma, then select the out quantity column in the stock out section and lock it with F4. Close the function and press enter. Drag the formula down the balance quantity column using the fill handle. This setup ensures the balance updates automatically whenever you record transactions in the stock in or stock out sections. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.